Um, perfect. We are live once again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's just wait for the viewership to go up. Hintayin lang muna natin siya. We could probably give it a couple more seconds, minutes. Let's see. My, interconnect, my internet connection is also stabilizing at this point. I'm observing the bars go up and down. Kaya mo yan, laban ka lang, girl. Kaya natin to, mahaba-habang session to. So, sana naman ang internet natin ay mag-cooperate. Ayan. Uh, hello, hello sa ating mga viewers. Yan, sige. Habang dumadami kayong lahat, gusto ko muna mag-hello sa inyo. At kumustahin ang, 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 ang mga bagay-bagay. Grabe, ang init ngayon, no? Yung... Yung fan ko, nakatutok na talaga. If you can see, ayan, may pa, may pa whip my hair back and forth ang effect natin. Ang init, sobrang init. I hope you are all hydrating. I went I went out for a grocery run kanina. The heat is unbearable. Nakakaloka siya, literally. Sobrang init. And I read in the news, mukhang five days pa daw yata, na magiging super, super taas ng heat index ng Manila at least. So um, sa mga Manila people, I hope you are keeping yourself hydrated. And kung kaya niyong magbaon ng mga fans na maliliit, please do so. Dahil iba, iba talaga ang init right now. Practice na ito para sa mga pupunta sa EPR. Charot. Okay, sige. Ayan, okay. Thank you, thank you sa mga nanonood na sa atin. Sige, just hang in there. We'll just wait for a couple more seconds bago tayo talaga officially magsimula. For now, I'm just blabbering and really just, you know, dumadalda lang ako ngayon para lang tumagal-tagal pa at madagdagan ng ating viewers. The moment that it turns uh, into a good number, then probably we can start. Maybe just a couple more seconds. We are down to our first two minutes of the live stream. Ayan, usually talaga the viewership picks up ito, ito mga minute na ito. Exciting tong episode natin ngayon, ano, because this is a special episode. Um, I was invited by uh, Maya and Podcast Network Asia to do this. It's a fundraising episode for the frontline leaders. Another one of those donation drives for our COVID-19 frontliners at sa lahat ng mga na-displace ng mga kababayan natin dahil sa COVID-19. Dahil sa incompetence na rin siguro ng maraming tao dito sa ating bansa. Pero, okay, anyway, dahil marami-rami na tayong viewers, we can officially start in 3, 2, 1. Hello sa ating mga ka-quarantine, ka-barangay, kapatid, kapuso, especially, of course, sa ating mga kapamilya. Welcome to another episode of Rated I, Influencers Exposed. My name is Ace Kapos and I'll be your host for the show. We are already on our ninth episode and so much joy because even if we don't have the most sophisticated materials, equipment. I just use the normal earphones and your regular laptop. Kita nyo naman, buhay na buhay ang ating podcast. And to be fair, we have already done more than half of a usual season in just a few weeks. This episode is extra, extra special because we're doing this to support hashtag podcast united. Let's just, me, just, just let me show you. Yeah. Podcast United is a series of live streams featuring local podcasts to help raise funds for the COVID-19 frontliners via Frontline Feeders Philippines. This is in partnership with Podcast Network Asia and PayMaya. You can donate via web by going to donate.paymaya.com. Just find hashtag Podcast United. Select the amount you wish to donate. You can donate a minimum of 50 up to 10,000 pesos. Click add to card and then check out. You can pay via credit or debit card or using your PayMaya wallet. Now, if you have the PayMaya app, just launch the app and click pay bills. Choose Podcast Network Asia as your partner organization. Put five zeros, that's zero, 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 limang zero in the account number. And then you enter the amount you're willing to donate and then tap continue. Walang minimum amount of donation through the app. So even the smallest barya barya, I'm sure, will go a long way. Now, sige, let's get things started. Now, most of us probably are still in a deep state of shock because of the recent 
cease and desist order issued to one of the biggest corporations and the largest broadcasting network in the Philippines. Well, uh, I really have to thank our guest today because in spite of the whirlwind of events in the past 48 hours here in the Philippines and her being a longtime talent of the network, she still said yes to my invitation for her to be here. Sabi ko, siguro, timely na rin for her to be here, for, for us to discuss also our thoughts about the major, that major event. Also, para, siyempre, she can walk us through and inspire us with her intelligence and personality. I'm sure nakita niyo na siya sa TV somewhere, somehow. Her latest shows in ABS-CBN include Pamilya Ko, where she was the art house curator and coordinator. There's also Parasite Island, where she played the role of Whitney. And soon, sa show with Ivana Alawi, entitled Lihim Niligaya. Sana matuloy na yan. Pero tuloy-tuloy na, tuloy na, tuloy na. Ang ating episode dito sa Rated Eye. So let us all welcome in the show, Miss Ian Galigas. Hello, Ian. Kala ko Rated Eye kasi Ian. Ang tangke. Para sa'yo talaga. Kumusta ka na Ian? What's keeping you busy? Um, ngayon, unemployed. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, <laughs> Since quarantine, mm-hmm. naman, um, I, I've been staying at home. I've been taking care of my family, um, mm-hmm. and then ako yung mm-hmm. tagalabas and doing all of the runs and all of that. So yes, yes, it's a little bit unnerving staying here. How many weeks has it been? Mm-hmm. Nine weeks, na ba? So hindi na alam, grabe. Hindi ko na alam. Sobrang tagal na. But in in a way, it is. It's, it was something that was necessary for all of us. Yes. We needed to, mm-hmm. parang pinwersa na tayong tumigil para huminga lang. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's unfortunate. Yeah. This is unfortunate because there are a lot of people dying. There are a lot of people out there who are suffering. Mm-hmm. And it's so hard to find yeah. something positive out of this. But I'm hoping against hope that, you know, bilang Pilipino, tayo namang mga Pilipino, we always find the positive in everything. Lagi That's tayong may hanap na katatawan na kahit galit na tayo, kahit inis na inis yes. na tayo, kahit na malungkot na malungkot na tayo. We uh-huh. still, in- intrinsic sa atin eh, it's woven in our, it's it's there in our DNA. Oh. Diba? Lagi-lagi tayo maghahanap ng paraan para, you know, to get, a little bit of fun sa lahat ng mga bagay. Kahit minsan, eh, talagang nakakaloka na ang mga Trot. pangyayari. Kumusta ang quarantine? Naluloka ka na ba? Where are you staying right now? I'm staying here in the South. I live in Las Piñas. So, um, medyo nakakaloka kasi liquor ban. <laughs> <laughs> Yan talaga yung struggle ng marami sa atin ngayon. Liquor ban. The struggle is real. You know, um, um, but I try to keep busy, so I've been I've been researching online. I've been reading a lot online, um, trying to get into my old, um, the old stuff that I usually like. I, yeah. I just finished a course on edX on the pyramids of Giza. Uh, wow. Nakailang ganchil yung project na ako. Nag-embroider oh, oh. the Buddha queen na rin ako. Oh. So um, trying to keep sharp. Marami ka rin palang mga pinagkakaabalahan. And yes, correct, you know, uh, this is a really good time for us to step back and just um, slow down. Na, yeah. na although, mm-hmm. although I don't, ano din naman, hindi siya contest. You know, hindi naman mm-hmm. yung, I, I don't like it when people say, you're not mm-hmm. being productive during quarantine. Tamad-tamad mo. Dude, it's a pandemic. It's not a contest. It's not a productivity contest. Mm-hmm. Do what you can for yourself yeah. if you don't then that's fine if you want a mental day if you want a mental month then go ahead right. everyone yeah. is free to do whatever they want it's not a contest if yeah. you want to do it good for you diba mm-hmm. yeah. i agree with you no everyone should be a little kinder sa kanilang mga sarili right mm-hmm. now i myself i myself no in particular i'm very gigil kasi no in terms of work and this time is not really the most productive time for us to accomplish a lot at work pero i've learned and to be kinder sa sarili ko, sa teammates ko, sa mga yeah. goals namin. And speaking of goals and dreams, Ian, um, I, I want to understand, no, yung, yung pag-artista, yun ba yung ano, parang has it always been a dream of yours? Goal mo ba talaga yan nung lumalak? Uh, ano eh, napakamot. <laughs> no, no. Uh, 
Um, I actually grew up in a very sleepy town called Lingayen in Pangasinan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I was born here in Manila, but I grew up there. And yeah. being being in in Pangasinan in, in the seventies, late seventies, eighties, it yeah. really was a very sleepy town. Everyone knew everyone else. Um, I I wanted to be a lot of things. I wanted to be a lawyer, a marine biologist. I wanted to be a singer. Um, and a labandera. Gusto ko yung <laughs> Gusto ko maging yeah, labandera. Promise. Bakit maging labandera? <laughs> kasi gusto ko yung, alam mo, yung, 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 yung planggana kasi noon, parang tansan. Uh-huh. Yung ganun, uh-huh. corrugated siya. Tapos uh-huh. nakatapings, yung walang, walang keme, you can play uh-huh. with water and all of that. So, right, right. But I really wanted to be a marine biologist because we live near the beach. Our, your, our house was very near the beach. But syempre, yung time na yun, and, and my dad and his family are very traditional Filipino. And ang gagawin yeah. mo sa marine biology, mag-ano ka lang ng tulya, gagawa ka lang ng mga... Oh, <laughs> yung ganun, oh. yung, they didn't understand oh, at that right. time. So that kind of discouraged yeah. me from pursuing that. Um, it was actually in, in high school that I... Or in elementary, nung lumipat na kami dito mm-hmm. sa Manila, when we moved here to Manila, that was the time that I said, Sige, uh, gusto ko mag-artista. Gusto ko makikita nyo ako sa TV. Pag, paglaki ko, makikita nyo ako sa TV, mapapanood nyo ako sa pelikula. Not because I really wanted to act or anything, but because I just wanted to prove to my to some mm. of my cousins, some of my relatives na sinanay, <laughs> dumaan. Uh, <laughs> no normal. No normal na yan. I wanted to prove yeah. to my relatives that I was going to be somebody. Hindi ako probinsyana. I got bullied a lot because yeah. I spoke like this. Yeah, someone who yeah. grew up in the province who looked like this, na maitem, parang ang tingin ka agad nila automatically, ba't kaya magsalita? Arte, arte mo. Uh, ano, nagmamalaki ka? Ganon. Ganon yung dating. Uh-huh. No, it wasn't the case. It's just like, dude, because I grew up speaking like this. They made me speak like this. It's not that mm-hmm. I had a choice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to prove to them na, ah, okay, sige, may kita nyo, mapapanood nyo ako sa TV. <laughs> Funny enough, when when I did go to show business, which was all by accident, um, mm-hmm. I, I, I was studying in Australia, and then I came back, kasi na Peggy Bells yung Jawa Bells ko ng time na yon. Mm-hmm. So I, I came back, and I was uh, I was with a friend of mine, na mm-hmm. klasik ko siya before sa Mobile Fund, for 16mm uh-huh. workshop. Yeah. So, ang thick-thick nung accent ko pa. Napaka-thick nung accent. Australian. Australian. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Hurt. Nice. Hurt. Western Australia. I actually studied there in Mount Lawley in Eden <laughs> County University. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, Mr. M at that time, and I didn't know he was Mr. M. Sobrang clueless ako. Mm-hmm. Napadaan siya, narinig niya ako. Para, mm-hmm. How can, you why you speak oh. like that? Oh. So, para, what do you mean, why can I speak like this? Because I can. Mm. So where are you from? Passing. No, no, where are you from? <laughs> Did I stutter? Passing. <laughs> I don't know what to do. She said, what do you want to be? I want to be a porn star. Tapos she was like, then she walked out. I said, hey, I'm serious. My friend, ko na producer, associate producer at that time, he was just like, I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. Oh. Uh, then about three weeks later, I get a call from that same friend saying that, hey, can you come in for an audition for the show? Mm-hmm. They want mm-hmm. you to come in for an audition for the show. I'm like, all right, okay. So the thing about audition, ako, uh, partner ko pa si Berwin Miley. Oh my God, Berwin Miley. Age marker, age marker. Oh. Oh. Na, ko sa kanila kasi si Direct Jelly si Nening pa yun eh. Oh. Marunong ba itong magtagalog? Ay, oh po, marunong po. Ah, marunong po ako. So oh. we did the audition. Tingin na chemistry namin ni Berwin and all of that. And I got the job. And I didn't know that I got the job until the first taping day nung tumawag sila sa akin na, Uy, may taping ka today. Sa Pila, Laguna. Punta ka na. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Crap! <laughs> so uh-huh. that's why and my very first soap was Loves Ko Si Babe with Marvin Agustin. Loves Ko Si Babe. Yes. Kaya yes. doon nang galing yung, yung name ko na Duday. Doon ako nakilala as Duday. Duday. Mm-hmm. So that was way back in, in 1999 ba yun o 2000? Oh. So, so, grade 3, grade 4 ako niyan. 
Tanda. Kompleto na ako sa book. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> so that was my very first show. And and from there, yun, sunod-sunod na. When, it was all ABS-CBN. I've never, I, I've only had one guesting in mm-hmm. Dade Di Dodu, which is ironically ah. GMA and it had a character named Dudai. Yes. But, I was pregnant at that time, mm-hmm. so I had to I had to stop. Um, mm-hmm. I lost the baby. I had a miscarriage. I lost the baby, and I had to stop. Mm-hmm. It was very traumatic for me. But mm-hmm. I went back after a while, back mm-hmm. and forth, back and forth. Ako. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was that was it. That's it. after that, yeah. it's history. Oh, yung duda in a role mo. Ano yah? Parang uh, bakit ang akin ano? Parang when I hear do die, parang role siya ng sidekick ng... Uh, uh, chimeres. Oh, Chimini. Oh, Chimini oh, talaga oh. ako doon. Um, because oh. in, in that show, Jolina couldn't be Jolina. You know, mm. with the, all of the clips and everything. Ah. Because that was a, it was a dramedy. It was a very first dramedy show in ABS-CBN. Mm-hmm. So, mm. she had to change her branding from that and but still kailangan ma, ma- recognize pa rin na siya yon so i was sort of that personality i became jolina ako yung maid nila doon and then si gloria romero which is in real life medyo malayong lola ko well, nagconnect connect oh. kami eh. nag nagka-connect oh. kasi i can speak pangasinan she can speak pangasinan sabi niya okay lalaw ba si ganito ganito ay lolo ko po yon eh pinsan ah. ko yun ay, lolo ko po kayo magkamag-anak so, pala kayo ha oo oh. eh, sabi ko bakit ganun po damot niyo naman hindi kayo nagbigay sa akin hindi niyo naman ako binigyan ng konting ganda at saka puti oo oh. so oh. yun yung lumabas na yun yung character ko i became mm. the julina the the, mm. the sidekick the comedy and in yung I, I loved it because I learned so much there from mm-hmm. si Dada, si Princess Monsalan, I was working oh, with her. Yan yung kay Serena Dal Rimpol, di ba? May... Hindi, wala si Serena. Sino yun? Hindi na si Sino yung bata doon? Sino yung Daddy Dido? Ano, I forgot. Hindi ba yung Daddy oh. Dido do GMA yun eh? Ano sa... yun? Ano? Sa, sa loves ko si Babe. Sa loves, loves ko, ko si Babe, babe ba? Oo. Oh. Oh. Nag-guesting lang ako sa Daddy Dido do one ah, lang. Na lang. Duday, oh. na, na, na Duday. And, and Duday oh. din, parang funny Duday lang. Din. But it, from there, I got the bug. That was it. I was like, this is what I meant to do. This is what I really love doing. Yes. Then, tabing ilog. Nagtabing ilog pa kami. Na, mm-hmm. uh, sunod-sunod yes. na MMK and all of that. But mm-hmm. um, it, was, it was never really something that I focused on when I was a kid. I, I was yeah. more really on I wanted to be a <laughs> I want to be a labandera. <laughs> a labandera. Ayan. Alam mo, Ian, yung mga, yung sinasabi mo kanina na yung medyo sidekick ang mga roles mo. Naging bida ka na ba ever? <laughs> yung talagang parang bida. No. No, no. Except for my oh. indie films. I, I have, like, I have oh, a couple oh. of indie films na ako yung bida, but um, see, that's a sad thing, and and I and I I'm hoping, and I'm seeing that change now uh, as we go along. But during my time in the in the early 2000s, it was mm-hmm. still um, it, it was still stuck there. It's a stereotypes. You're mm-hmm. you're pretty much stereotype. Oh. If you look a certain oh, oh, if you look a certain way, it, yung yung itsura ko, hindi naman ako kapangitan, pero hindi rin naman ako kagandahan. Sapat lang, sapat mm-hmm. lang. Tama lang. Naman, sa- Sabi Sakto ng mga lang. bata, sakto lang. Oh. Sakto lang. But mm-hmm. hindi, ako yung, hindi ako yung type na magiging bida. At mm-hmm. during that time, ha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, so I was stereotyped. I really was stereotyped. And it's it's a good and bad thing. It's a good thing because that means I'm good at what I do. I'm good at portraying the characters that they want me to portray. Mm-hmm. I am good at performing the characters. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it's a bad thing kasi yun at yun na lang ang makikita nila. Oh, yun at yun na lang ang makikita nilang kaya kong gawin. Hindi na nila ako nabibigyan ng iba pa. Mm-hmm. I have to be thankful kay Direk Loren Jogi. He, mm-hmm. he and I, um, oh, I love him so much. No, because mm-hmm. he he gave me the opportunity sa ipaglaban mo when he was a director for ipaglaban. Uh-huh. Um, minigyan niya ako nung, nung break na yon na uh-huh. mag-drama mag heavy drama and, yeah. and he gave me two roles he gave me like two shows na yung isa um, i was uh, i was the only survivor pinatay yung kapatid ko tsaka yung pamangkin oh. ko um, and then yung second OFW ako na yung sinaksakan ng 
uh, formalin sa bibig and, and all of that. So he was able to at least give some range or uh, show people that I have range. Kasi nagteatro din ako in high school. I was with PETA. I was with uh, PETA MTTL, which is the Metropolitan Teen Theater League. Si Vincent mm-hmm. De Jesus and si Malu Crisologo yung yeah. ano, mentors ko. So I was given that. But in the greater scheme of things, those are just a drop. That that's just like two drops in a bucket in a whole big ocean of a, yeah. of a bucket. So yes, that's stereotype ako. And and you, you still get some people who get stereotyped with that um, a lot. Lina sila na bigyan ng iba pang range. Maganda ngayon. It's nice now that it's improving. We're seeing a lot more comedians, a lot more female comedians who are being given a lot of opportunities to show or showcase what they can do and not just yeah. be slapstick comedy. Mm-hmm. Chai Fona Cher, for example. Oh, in, yeah. In, yes. Chai Fona Cher. Oh, my God. When I first Patay saw na her. Si uh, oh. And yung, 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 yung ginawa niyang video na ano, brownie, Pax Brownie ng Soap. Oh, my ah, God. That's ah, ah, amazing. Mm-hmm. Manilenials. Her her character in Manilenials. Oh, yes. Yes. I want oh, oh. Ang oh, galing oh, okay. galing. Oh, oh. And she's an intelligent woman. She's a she very is, intelligent yes. woman. I follow her in Twitter. <laughs> ang galing, ang galing, galing niya. Sobrang oh, galing. Galing. And, and I'm glad na nabibigyan siya ng ganong opportunities. Oh, okay. But you know, for for someone who's uh, like me, na nang galing na nung 2000, mas mahirap akong makabreak. Mm-hmm. It, it'll be more difficult for me to break out mm-hmm. from that. I'm I'm very grateful now when I came when I finally decided to come really focus and come back to show yeah. business. I found a really good group of people and creatives in ABS-CBN who have given me that opportunity. In Parasite yeah. Island, si Derek Avel, um, mm. Mm. he was the one who was like, you know what, do whatever you want. Mag ano ka dyan. If, whatever the character that you think of, ganyan ganyan. Mm-hmm. May drama kami. May, just ko yung death scene ko doon yung ang ganda so i uh, i love that it's just sad now na kung kailan naman ako ready ready na oh ito na nga oh, pag-uusapan natin yan mamaya pero alam mo sa kwento mo nakikita ko na nung time nyo at least meron talaga itong mga yung, yung parang stereotype na yung mga standard roles yung parang molde mm. ng Mm-hmm. Ano lang mga roles na pwede sa'yo. Kasi nag-uusapan namin ng mga friends ko. Kunyari, si Susan Africa, siya yung mahirap na nanay na nakatira sa bukid at naka-low ponytail. <laughs> wow! <laughs> si Gina Parenyo, Gina Parenyo, dati-dati ko pa nakapapanood yan. Lagi siyang masungit na tita. And kahit yung recent na, ano, na hintayan ng langit na napanood ko naman sa Netflix, ano rin, masungit na tita pa rin siya doon. Okay. Parang, parang yung mga artista of that time, uh, and and I, I'm saying yung mga bago siguro, na uso yung term na millennial, uh, mayroon talagang parang ganun, no? May molde yeah. talaga. Um, I would see it, okay, I, I can I can actually see it from two different perspectives. Okay? Mm. From from the perspective of of an artist. Mm. Dahil, kumbaga, kung, kung araw-araw na yun na lang ang pinapakain sa'yo, masasanay kang yun na lang kaya mong ipikay. Yun na lang ang pwede mong ipikay. Uh-huh. Dahil wala nang ibang ibinibigay sa'yo, walang ibang hinahain sa'yo, bakit pa ako mag-e-effort? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, kasi there are a lot of layers there. There's a, so many perspectives and so many layers. One, right. nasanay na ang publiko na yun ang tingin sa'yo. So, madali kang ngayong event, mas mad- may, may, rec- may recall, may recognition. Alam nila, mm-hmm. agad. yung tita na ano, yung laging naka-brown na palda, oh. Oh, oh, correct. Oh. And unfortunately as well in production, kasi ang, ang production naman natin dito sa Pilipinas, hindi katulad sa ibang bansa, oh. na bago mag-umpisa ang isang show, hmm. pag, as in hihimay-himay, in, in, in Australia, in, yeah. in the States, in Canada, they'll talk about, you'll have the writers first, talking about hmm. the plot, talking about the story. Hmm. How do we do all of this. Tatapusin muna nila yung kwento. Tatapusin nila yung buong script. Uupuan nila yon. Bago nila ngayon pipiliin sino yung mga artista na pwede dito at sino yung mga pwede mag-audition. Okay? Pwede ba natin... Uh, kasi isa pang problema is m- minsan may, may mga pegs ni Yung mga, yeah. ay gusto ka kasi ganito eh. Not thinking or not realizing that, hey, maybe we can open it up to other actors who would like to come in and audition for it. 
Maybe she's not, maybe pwede natin, you know, masusurprise tayo. We wouldn't know. Maybe we'd be surprised. Walang ganon. Dahil we don't have the luxury of time here. Here, the way that we do the production is, okay, mm-hmm. kailangan na natin ilabas to ngayon. Kailangan na natin ilabas to ng ganitong oras. May schedule na tayo, blah, blah, blah. Ganyan. Kaya meron sa term na, may terminology kami na um, for airing. Nangyayari yun. For airing. Yung bigla na lang magbabago yung script. So, nagtitaping kami, yung tinitape namin, tatakbo yun kaagad sa editing para i-edit nila, i-ere on the same day. Mm. Because, mm, ano? kaya pala stressful yung production talaga. <laughs> kaya hindi ko rin masisi ang production. Because it's a vicious cycle. Dahil nakikinig, ang, ang pinupulsuhan namin, ang pinupulsuhan ng production is ano yung papanoorin ng tao? Ano yung gusto ng tao? Ano yung kiniklamor ng tao? What do they want? That's what we're gonna give them. We're mm-hmm. not going to produce something new because again, it's a business. Right, it's, right, right. Yes, we're artists, but it is show business. We need to earn that keep. Well, mahal magkaroon ng isang show. Mm-mm. hindi o magkaroon ng isang show. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. it's a vicious, vicious cycle. And, you know, I was I was actually thinking about it. Maybe this quarantine and maybe the shutdown will be mm-hmm. a, a very good thing. It, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Yes, it's, it's terrible, okay? It's terrible. Actually, it's not really that terrible because the 11,000 people, according yeah. to our president, CLK, my president, uh, yeah. Carlo Catipa, um, will still be providing Sweldo mm-hmm. and benefits to all of those 11,000 formal workers for the next three months. Tuloy-tuloy mm-hmm. tuloy pa rin ang sahod nila. Tuloy-tuloy mm-hmm. tuloy pa ang benefits nila. After yeah. three months, doon nila ngayon titignan. Ano na yung pwede natin gawin kung wala pa rin nagaganap. So, right, right, right. in terms of, uh, yes, nakakalungkot um, mm-hmm. na wala pang shows. Yung mga informal workers, yun yung mga walang shows. Yung mga caterers, yeah. yung mga... Yeah. Uh, assistant, mga PA, yung oh, mga oh, siyempre, oh, di ba? Apektado okay. talaga sila dito. Eh. Kami, mga artista na, pag support artista or second tier or third tier artista, oh, yung hindi ba kami contract nila, oh, diba? Hindi kami prime. Hindi kami yeah. contract star. So, kami ang nawalan ng trabaho. And, mm-hmm. and mas, mas marami kami, mas marami yung pamilya din namin. Correct, yeah. But, I'm also looking at it from a perspective of maybe ito na yung time na pwede na, pwede na nating pag-isipan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Pwede na nating gawaan ng plano talaga. Right, right. You It's know, a, I read in a, I read in a article, in an article by direct Joey Reyes, Jose Javier oh. Reyes, yan. Parang sabi niya na, bakit ang mga k-drama mabenta sa mga Pilipino? Nagustuhan ko lang kasi yung sinabi mo kanina na sa sa atin kasi dito sa Pilipinas, parang nag adapt yung, ano, mm-hmm. depende kung alin ang kikita. Pero sa kanila daw talaga, isusulat nila lahat yan. Mm-hmm. From start to finish, pipili nila yung artista and they're not particular with love themes. As in, hindi siya parang Liz Ken. Liz Ken oh. na kwento to. Kakniel oh. na kwento to. Jaden oh. na kwento to bago pa sila nag-break. Pero, di ba, hindi sila ganun. Mamaga, itong artist, alam mo, ito. Hmm. Yan ang simula talaga ng lahat ng ano, nung 2020, nung nag-break ang Jadine. Ah, eh. Nung nag-break yes, talaga yes, sila. Eh. Yun talaga naging simula. Bum, bum, ano yan? Jadine forever. <laughs> yan nga, sabi nga, na, na, narinig ko rin yan sa mga fans. Parang, alam mo, nagsimula lahat ng kamalasan natin dito sa Pilipinas. Simula nung nag-break ang JD. <laughs> anyway, alam mo, Ian, I'd love to have more of your insights about that uh, ABS CBN cease and desist order in a bit. We'll just take a break and I'll see you in a bit, huh? All right, hello, mga friends. Just to remind you, we are part of hashtag Podcast United, and I will just um, show you a bit of information kung paano po kayo donate. By the way, before that, Podcast United is a series of live streams featuring local podcasts to help raise funds for the COVID-19 frontliners via Frontline Feeders Philippines. This is a, this is in partnership, of course, with Podcast Network Asia. Maraming salamat, Podcast Network Asia. And of course, Paymaya. You can donate via web by, by going to donate.paymaya.com 
just find hashtag podcast united. Madali lang kita yan. Trinay ko kanina nasa page 4. <laughs> uh, just um, choose podcast united. Select the amount you wish to donate. You can donate a minimum of 50 up to 10,000 pesos. Pero ako sa inyo, feel generous na. <laughs> just click add to cart and then click check out. Pwede kayo magbayad via credit or debit card or kung meron man kayong Playmaya wallet, you can also use that too. It's available for both local and foreign transactions. Now, if you have the Playmaya app, better! Bonga! Just launch the app and click Pay Bills. Choose Podcast Network Asia as your partner organization. Put five zeros. Limang zero. Ilang zero? Lima. <laughs> Uh, and then you just enter the amount you're willing to donate and tap continue. Walang minimum amount, of course. So even if the smallest barya barya, I'm sure will go a long way. Okay? Click donate. And uh, if you wish to share na nag-donate kayo, use the hashtag Podcast United. Siyempre, matutuwa ang ating mga kasamahan dyan. And of course, I'm sure your donations will go a long way. Kita-kita nyo naman yung Frontline Feeders Philippines. Very, very active sila in really updating kung ano yung mga nangyayari, saan napupunta ang pera. Buti pa sila, transparent. Anyway, <laughs> we'll be back with Miss Ian Galigas in a bit. Welcome back, Ian. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ayan. Ian, now let's talk about the most recent happening. In the last 48 hours, ano namang thoughts mo dito sa major event na ito that um that this major broadcasting network had to go through? Of course, you were affected as a talent, pero ano ang pulso sa mga tao na apektado rin? I'm sure kaibigan mo, kakilala mo sila. Anong thoughts ng mga tao right now? Um, the immediate thought, my, my immediate family, syempre, una nilang, nung, nung nangyari yun, my kids were like, Mom, are you okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I think I am. I'm unemployed yeah. now, so I'm gonna be using your trust fund. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. But ma, you mga foreigner friends ko. Um, they were like, "Are you in a dictatorship? <laughs> Is your country uh -huh. in a dictatorship?" Because uh -huh. I explain ko nga sa kanila ko ano yung nangyari, and then they're like, "Can they do that?" Well, apparently they did. Oh, they did it. Oh, and ang hirap kasi. Ako, ako personally, ang iniisip ko is yung mga, yung mga ibang artista na maliliit. Especially the, the child stars na mm. nag-umpisa pa lang sila. Um, we have one, si Ken Ken, who's part of Parasite Island. And he's, he's like the breadwinner of the family. Mm. So, paano na siya ngayon? Diba? And we, we try to help. We try to send money as much as we can. It's, it is clearly a... Para sa akin, ha? It's, I'm yeah. not saying it's. I feel like it's a vendetta. I feel like it's such a petty thing to do with someone mm -hmm. who has so much power and doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah. Uh, but I think we we made the correct choice. Our president made the correct choice of shutting down of of shutting down the network because it just shows that we won't be bullied. Kasi naman yung pa hero na bigla mag swoop in at sasabihin ng Ah, so sabi ang presidente na buksan na lang kayo. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. I mean, we can see that from a mile away. Can you yeah. not? Amoy na amoy. Uh -oh. Amoy na amoy. I'm not insulted by the fact that he did it and he's been doing it. Okay? Uh -huh. I'm not insulted by that. I'm insulted by the fact that he thinks we're that stupid that we're yeah. just going to fall for it. Yeah. Alam na natin ang galawan. Pinagbibigyan parang sige nang oh, bahala ka. Maniningil na lang kami sa eleksyon. Uh -huh. na, in our own ways, kami nang bahala. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. you can't bully us. You cannot come and save us. We are going to go through this. Kasi nanggaling na kami dyan eh. We, we've already had the Senate hearing. We've answered all of the questions. Okay. And we don't ng tax. Dude. Yeah. Di ba na-prove na? Sabi na nga eh. Oo, oh, oh. sinabi na, na nga. nga eh. Pinakita oh. na nga. May mga resibo na nga eh. Mm. Ang pogo ang hindi nagbabayad ng tax. Okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, labor issues, ganyan, ganyan. Every company yeah. has labor issues. Every single company. Yeah. Kung may kumpanya yeah. ka at walang labor issue yung kumpanya mo, hindi ka ganun kalaki. Hmm. Hindi ka pa yeah, ganun yeah, yeah. full. So, that's all it. That's why they have HR. That's why they have mediation. That's why you have all of these things. Uh, yeah. What else are they gonna say? It's owned by a foreigner. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? How? And the evidence mo it's owned by a foreigner. We've already proven that 
The Lopez's are Filipinos. They own Philippine passports, and Philippine passports cannot be given to those who are not citizens of this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ang hirap din kasi magpaliwanag sa mga taong ay, ano na eh, nakapako na ako ng paniniwala. Uh, 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 uh. We cannot convince someone that what they're holding is a watermelon if they truly believe it's a freaking apple. Tata, so, uh, uh. Kumbaga, makikita lang kasi ng tao, maiintindihan lang nila kung ano yung kaya nilang maintindihan o yes. kung ano yung gusto nilang maintindihan. Ano yung gusto nilang maintindihan. Yes. Uh, uh. And this is, uh, this is something that is it, on the base roots of it all, a human trait. It is yeah. a human trait that I think hindi natin maas, maayos because we don't take mental health seriously. Because mm -hmm. we do not take um, our mental development seriously. Yeah. Sa atin sa Pilipinas. Ha? Ngayon mm -hmm. nagkakaroon na ng mga changes, ng improvements, yeah. which I'm very happy about. Yeah. It's great. We're talking about depression. We're talking about right. anxiety. We're talking about bipolarism. We're talking about all of these things. PTSD. Yeah. Um, but talking about it um i don't think we're talking about it enough yeah yeah even, yeah even parenting okay yung mm -hmm. mga yung, yung ginagawa nila ngayon ng mga pulis na you know sinisigawan pinapahiya binubugbog and all of that yes, yes it's not right it's wrong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you wouldn't do that to your child or would you remember ang mga nakakatanda mm -hmm. in my time Ang yes. disiplina, ang pagdidisiplina sa mga bata nung panahon ko, nung lumalaki ako, eh, paninigaw, pananabunot, pananampal, pamamahira. Pareho tayo, oo, pareho tayo. Sinturon, lahat na, Sinturon. lahat na. Dumabi may choice ka dito. naman eh. Oo, may choice ka naman, chinelas, belt, o hanger. Diba? Oh, correct. Uh -huh. So, it, again, it translates na, oh, itong mga pasaway natin, di ganito ka disiplina ang gagawin ko. Ganito naman yung disiplina ang ginawa sa akin eh. No one bothered to correct them or no one bothered to tell them that, dude, there's another way. There's a yeah. different way of parenting. Yeah. Hindi or disciplining. Hindi naman dapat ang pambububug lang. Right, but right. How did, again, it's, it's such a huge problem coming from a small root cause. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, ito mga to, sabihin na natin isang, ah, oh, let's, let's just say, for example, me, lumaki ako sa pamilyang gano'n, na gano'n yung disiplina nila sa akin, wala akong ibang alam, hindi ako nakalabas ng bansa, ang, ang edukasyon na binigay sa akin, gano'n din lang. If you're limited to a little box, and that's all you know, then that's all you know. That's what you're going to do. You're just going to keep on recreating that box again and again with your children. And if your children do not go outside of that box as well or not given any kind of, of provisions or opportunities, ganun din lang yun. Replication lang. Papipaste nga lang, di ba? So, it's a matter of, I guess, it's a matter of um, personal choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yung, yung kailangan nating sabihin sa sarili din natin at kailangan natin ma-accept na pwede, hindi masama ang i-cut off ang mga relatives mo na toxic. Hindi masama na sumagot ka sa magulang mo to explain what you're saying, hindi yun pang babastos. Mm -hmm. May mga ibang paraan, may mga ibang ways. So when you move from that small unit of a family or even for yourself, then it becomes a bigger thing. Then you can change everything now, the way that society thinks, the way that everything, you, you tip the, the, it becomes a tipping point. Right, yeah. Mm -mm. I, I wonder, Ian, no? uh, much of your life, you've been in showbiz, no? and um, I understand years. that. Oh, de ba? I understand na talagang yung passion mo eh of of talking about your life in ABS-CBN and also expressing your your thoughts, your dissent specifically sa mga nangyayari. I know this entire showbiz life would be would be limiting. Meron ka bang mga ginagawa outside the ano outside showbiz outside the camera? Yeah. Ano um, mga kabalahan mo? Nanay ako for a while. I, I focused on motherhood. Uh -huh. I was a single mom, so I focused on that a lot. But one of the things that I want to do is you know, elevate, elevate um, comedy, elevate comedy for women. Mm -hmm. um, I've been producing some shows. I've been producing some live shows before the whole quarantine happened. Um, yeah. I was working with Bad Cafe. 
Mm-hmm. And that's in like ASPI and word of mouth organization. Ito yung organization na nagso-storytelling. So, para kayo yeah. nag-kwento. Um, and and it becomes a uh, it becomes an, a way for people to talk about their lives or to talk yes. about their stories and make it funny or at least have that catharsis. So I've been yeah. producing that. Um, I've also I I I worked with some people before. I used to do PR. I used to do a lot of uh, pub- publicity um, and handling and all of that, cleaning up, fixing and all of that. Hindi ako mapakali. Ako yung taong hindi mapakali. Yeah. Yung kailangan may gawin ako. Kasi I feel mm-hmm. yung nakatenga ako, feeling ko napaka-unproductive ko. Yeah, no? Pareho tayo yung nakaka-restless yung feeling. Parang, ano gagawin ko? Ano pa? Ano pa? Ano pa? Diba? Ay, parang, para two hours na ako walang ginagawa. Kailang may gawin ako. Yeah. But I want to do it in a way also that it it does elevate yung mga komedyanteng katulad ko. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yung, sige, bigyan natin sila ng opportunity na Let's let's have. I, 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 that's why I did that uh, that show. I did those shows. Um, Excuse me was one of them, which is uh, no Valentine's Day. A uh, post yes. Valentine's Day, Feb 15. We talked about our exes, ex friends. Na naging parang comedy night na tuloy siya, and it was yeah. very well applauded and it was very well attended. So mm-hmm. pwede naman pala eh. Kung pwede, bakit hindi natin gawin? So, yeah. you know, uh, uh, well, we've been working, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> we've been working to to try to get that in, into motion. Get female comedians, starting comedians, na hindi lang basta nababatuka, nadudulas, patawa oh, pa. Eh, no? Di ba? Cerebral. Medyo magpa... Na, kaya natin sakyan si Joko eh. Kaya natin correct, sakyan. Correct. Diba? Kung nanonood naman tayo ng mga foreign comedy films, nasasakyan naman natin ang mga jokes nila. Nagigets naman natin din sa YouTube pag nanonood tayo ng mga hirit yes. ng mga movies. So, why can't we apply it to us? Ano yung, ano yung gap doon? Why, what's the, what's the, why are we stopping ourselves from that? Yes. So, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm trying to... For the longest time, when you talk about female comedy, parang, syempre, pag Pilipino ka, may isip mo, ah, ay, ay, delas alas, or, mm. pero, mm. let's face it, I mean, these, these women, they're, they're treated as, okay, comedian, pero, kasi, it's something about their look, something about, parang, laging, pagbaing komedyante, tanga, or, or papayay oh, yeah. na, or oh, exact. Oh. Oh, yung, parang ganun lagi yung pinapalaba. And, it, right. and, and what you're doing is, is amazing, no? I mean, mm-hmm. like, my character in, in Parasite Island, that's the reason why I'm, I'm so grateful to Derek Abel and to, to the production team of Parasite mm-hmm. Island because they allowed me to, to give a little bit more layers to Whitney. Si Whitney kasi, um, dati siya, ang character ni Whitney doon, uh, best friend slash personal assistant siya ni Desiree Del Valle na pareho silang dating mm-hmm. bar girl. And nakapangasawa uh, ng may awal si Desiree. So, ako din, parang kasama na rin ako. So, ganyan. Pa, uh-huh. He allowed me to, to do certain layers. Yung katulad yung maganda rin akong mag-ayos. Siyempre, bar girl ako dati. Kailangan maarte din ako. Hindi pwede pangitawin ako, di ba? So, yes. naka- uh, naka Paul sis akong ganyan na parang bangs naka ayos din ako naka curl ang hair ko and uh, may mga hirit din ako doon na uh, parang yun yung uh, naku naku sandali hanapin muna natin si Jessie di ba paralytic yun dapat para medic they allowed me to do all of these things yung mga puns that hindi lang basta patawang ko may binagpanget or ganito alipin mm-hmm. alipin uh, sidekick. Yes. Uh-huh. You can be a sidekick without, uh, you can be a sidekick and make a mark without shadowing anyone else, without mm-hmm. trying to steal anyone else's limelight. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that was proven in Parasite Island. Na kaya palang gawin yun. Pwede mm-hmm. palang gawin yung ganun. Right. Okay, so, Eugene Domingo, uh, ando na siya eh. Oo, oh, 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 si Eugene Domingo. Yes. Diba? Yung kimidora okay. niya. Nandun na siya. Meron pa din. Meron pa rin nuances. You can't get rid of that because yun ang hanap ng Pilipino. Oh. Kailangan mabenta eh. Kailangan yun mabenta eh. Yun ang mabenta eh. Oh. But uh-huh. she was able to, in those two characters, she was able to elevate. Diba? Mm-hmm. Angelica mm-hmm. Panganipan. Correct. Also, elevates. Oh. 
ba? Pero, o, o gusto ko yung si Angelica pa nga ni Eva. May glass ceiling pa din. Hindi pa rin makalusot doon sa glass ceiling na yun eh. And, and, and I don't understand and I'm trying to figure out why and how we can break that. Yeah. And we have female stand-up comedians that are Filipino that don't respond to sex jokes or mm -hmm. self-deprecation or insulting mm -hmm. other people. Oh. Is it possible? Pwede ba? Pwede! Yeah. We watch Netflix shows. We watch Tiffany Haddish. We watch mm -hmm. Eliza Schell. <laughs> yes. 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 So, kaya pwede magigets natin eh. Bakit hindi natin ma-apply? Mm -mm -mm -mm. That would be amazing, no? I can't imagine, like, a time na talagang female Pinay comedians, comedians, na, you know, intelligent comedy. Because right now, Ian, I know of groups na, you know, they promote intelligent comedy. Yung hindi pang, pang comedy bar, hindi pang ganong comedy. Pero ma marami sa kanila lalaki Oh, oh, and okay. yung talaga lalo. But don't oh. get me wrong. It, it's mm. a payan eh. Sometimes wordings din eh. Like um, uh -huh. intelligent comedy. Ah, so kayo na matalino. Meron kasi ah, may ganon. Oo, oh, oh, may ganon. It's smart shaming kasi tayo dito sa Pilipinas eh. And if, if you look at it, it's not that they're shaming the smart people or they're embarrassed by them or they hate them. It's because yeah. of their own insecurities na ang feeling nila, ah, so tanga ko. Baka nga tanga ako. Siya mm -hmm. tanga ba ako? na hindi natin nasasabihan na hindi kayo tanga. Ibang yeah. klaseng comedy lang ito. Ibang klaseng comedy. Oo, walang, walang masyado ano dito. Daldal-daldalan lang, pero hindi tayo nang insulto hindi tayo yeah. nang uh -oh. tao, hindi tayo nang o-okray. Kung baga, yeah. kung may, may okray naman tayo, may sarili na lang namin. Kasi uh -oh. mas makakarelate kayo dun eh. Pag in-okray ko yung katulad nung time na wala pa akong boobs. Ngayon, uh -oh. may boobs na ako. I'm so proud of that. Yes, so you are. Laban. Thank you. <laughs> laban. Yung time, time na wala pa akong boobs, yun, mm. pag-uusapan ko yun, I become self-deprecating about my own self. And, and a lot of women relate to it. Na platina din sila, di ba? Mm -hmm. And now that I have boobs, then I talk about the two different experiences. And, yeah. and it's not being pa -pa patalino yung, and bobo kasi kayo, hindi nyo magigets to eh. Hindi yun, yung Chong mm -hmm. try mo to, Lika. Hindi ko kwento ako sa isi ka. Uh, uh, Delivery din kasi. Right. Some, uh, of, uh, well, some of the, some people cannot deliver it properly. Di ba comedy is all about that? Timing? Oh, performance talaga siya eh. Oh, oh. Performance. Right, so, yeah. yung, kaya ma ang hirap, mas mahirap magpatawa kaysa sa umiyak. Mas mahirap, mag ang daling magpahiyak. Pero oh. napakahirap magpatawa kasi ang yung, yung fear mo na Shit, pag corny ito, it will fall flat. Yung, Oo, wala no. na. Hindi mo na nare-redeem ang sarili mo. Hira so, kayo lang yung gawin. Uh, umpisa pa lang, fuck pa na ka agad para tuloy-tuloy. Kahit na pumalya ka sa gitna, okay pa, may momentum ka pa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mahirap yeah. nga magpatawa. Marami na ako, marami na ako mga napuntahang ano eh. I also get to compare, no? Parang yung comedy bar comedy, talaga siyang panlalait. Talaga nga nga ako doon. Oo, oh, diba? Pero I've also watched, watched shows ng mga, yun nga, yung sabihin natin, medyo smart or non-offensive comedy. Ganun na lang siguro. Yung mga non-offensive comedy, tawa pa rin naman ako ng tawa. And you're right, eh. Kasi I think this is one sector of entertainment that we're not really uh, giving so much attention to. Parang, oh, tama ka, joke ay fan tayo, naintindihan natin. I think at this time, kinog na. Kinog na yung market. Kinog na. I'm thinking of my parents kasi na parang, you know, com yung comedy nila, malamang yung comedy pang noon time show, pang, yun nga, pang comedy bar, yun ang comedy nila eh. Pero now I see more yung woke generation, yung millennials, yung mga Gen Z, parang mm -hmm. ayaw na kanila ng ganun. Mm -hmm. And so, lumalaki. But to be fair, uh -huh. to be fair uh -huh. naman to, to our parents and to, to be fair to those people, those uh -huh. were the only types of comedies that were okay. afforded to them at that time. So, ano ba yung saying na, ano, yung, um, if you do not feed someone love from a spoon, they'll learn how to lick it off a knife. Uh -huh. Quotable quote. Quotable quote. Uh, Kung hindi mo magiging narotin. <laughs> in Tagalog, drags. Charing. 
<laughs> yeah, oo. Oh. Kasi kung hindi mo bibigyan ng ibang putahe, wala na silang ilang, ibang, ibang alam kainin. So, kailangan yeah. i-expose mo din sila. But what's going on right now, babalik tayo, circle back, right. how can you expose these people now when you've shut down the biggest network in the country and a lot of places in this country only have ABS-CBN? Ngayon wala na. Ano na? Oo, ano. Eh, so, paano mo babagawin na lahat? Okay, if you think about it, parang ang marami, marami tayong mga nababasa, oh, it's an issue of the law, etc. Ano ba yung mga Duralex, Sedlex, na hindi ko na <sighs> Nang alam ko lang po ay Durex. Charot! Um, <laughs> Duratex diba? lang alam ko. Duratex. Hindi uh, kasi siya issue lang ng compliance, kanyan. May mga ganitong issue rin kasi na hindi na siguro na pag-uusapan. Kunwari, maraming mga lugar sa Pilipinas na talagang ang naaabot lang ng signal nila ay ABS-CBN. So okay. sana sila ngayon kukuha ng information. Ano na yung pakikinggan nila? Saan na sila maniniwala? And in a time of a pandemic, You, you you know you take away that source of information for many people it's it's heartbreaking paano na lang yung mga kababayan natin you know exactly. and it's all for and it's all for what for for a single man's ego is that it or um oh, diba? what is it for uh, that's why you know it's frustrating sometimes when 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 i am forced to talk about it medyo hi kingang malalim <laughs> <laughs> Malalim, yun na lang. I mean, mm-hmm. how will you how will you change and educate uh-huh. when you take away something that is used as a tool to change yeah. and educate? Mm-hmm. Diba? And yeah. and ako, my per, again, my personal opinion, since I no longer have a job, <laughs> uh-huh. my personal opinion on this is hold the people accountable. Make right. that change. This is the time na man, magsala tayo. Mm-mm. Ano bang pinahahawakan natin? Why are you holding on to these enablers, these artists who have supported and have changed and influenced the way other people think, the way the masses think, for Mm-mm. what? Mm-mm. A couple of hundred thousand pesos? Alam mo, Chika ko, ano sa tingin mo yung magiging future nitong mga enablers na to? Sa, sa showbiz or si, si, ano ba, Lili? Sa tingin mo lang. Opinion mo lang naman. Sa tingin mo ba, Lili? You could see them changing their tune. They were, they didn't care. Like, again, it's a common, basic human trait na minsan yeah. wala tayo makialam hanggat tayo ang naapektuhan. Uh, uh, uh. And it's not bad. It is yeah. just an intrinsic survival. Human nature. Oh, human, human nature. nature. Uh, human right. nature. But that also shows your character. Mm-hmm. Oo, sige, kapit ka na sa patalim. Um, pero minsan kasi kahit kapit ka sa patalim, hindi ka gagawa ng isang bagay na makakasakit. Dahil ang moral compass mo maayos. Yeah, yeah, Pag yeah. ang moral compass mo ay sira, or hindi na tune ng tama, mm-hmm. yes, yun na. Everyone, you're, you're entitled to your own opinion. You are free to do whatever you want, but you are not free from the consequences of your actions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this, because of this, this has happened. And the feelers and the things that are going on, and dami ng mga nadismaya, and dami ng nagising, and you're absolutely right. It's a woke generation now. Mm-hmm. It's a very woke generation. And I don't care if that other comedian says, woke in inam, a woke in inam Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I would rather have a group of people who are woke than sheep. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. It's, it's about time. And these people will be held accountable. And people are, okay, kung babalik ta ulit tayo doon sa mentality na nakikinig ang network sa pulso ng tao. Yeah. Pulso ng tao ngayon, sinasabi nila, make them accountable. Hold them accountable. I-filter na yan. Huwag nyo na silang bigyan ng project. Huwag nyo nang i-renew ang kontrata nila. Huwag nyo nang bigyan ng mga shows. Kung bibigyan nyo man ng shows yung... If this was coming from a writer. Okay? A writer. Yeah, yeah. Sabi niya yun eh. Sabi niya, nag-tweet na ako nito noon eh, pero dinelete ko kasi bait paitan ako. Eh, pero ngayon, wala na. No holds barred na. Susunod, pag, pag nakuha namin kayo mga enablers kayo, gagawin namin kayo yung api-apihan, yung hinungudmud sa kubeta, sinasampal-sampal, o kaya yung dialogue ninyo in Chinese. 
<laughs> makaganti man lang ano makaganti man lang oh, but oh. Okay, that's a petty way of doing it the the more effective way of doing it is hold them accountable why will yeah. you why will you reward such actions why will you give them all right. of this again dahil forgiving tayo dahil kasi nakakaawa naman eh alam mo kaya yun ang nangyari kaya ito na tayo eh that's why we're in this second dictatorship because yun yeah. yung inisip na natin kawawa naman matanda na sige bigay na natin sa kanya eh kasi patay na naman si ganito eh mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah and you're so, speaking from someone who has been in in martial law you were in martial law before I, diba? you were there yeah. literally I, EDSA. I was literally in EDSA during the people power revolution back in 1986 ah oh. um, I was born in 1975. So, mm. 1972, nagkaroon ng martial law. Mm. My, my family in Pangasinan, my mother's family in Pangasinan, mm. um, they were very affluent at that time. Mm. Um, Sila ng Benguet Electric Company, the Ferrer's. Mm. And, yeah. you just po, hawak, ang, hawak namin ng kuryente, hawak ng pamilya namin noon ng kuryente ng buong Pangasinan uh-huh. at ng Fort Bonifacio. Uh-huh. So, the family knew Four days before martial law was declared, we yeah. already knew because the soldiers, the military, they were there. They confiscated everything. They sequestered everything, everything that they owned. Because my grandfather, uh, mm-hmm. my great grandfather, did not support Marcos, and he took Ooh. that. He, he took that badly. So, mm-hmm. nung na, nagkaroon na siya ng opportunity. Buman din na siya. Oh, oh. Para, we do mga patterns sa kung nakikita sa behavior or sa mga nangyayari sa ngayon. Marcos Light. Ito yan. Marcos mm-hmm. 2.0 Light Edition. Mm-hmm. So, we lost everything. And we had to claw back. We had to really work hard and start from nothing. And, and yeah. we suffered a whole lot. Yeah. And when the people power happened in 1986, I was there. I was in EDSA. I was part of... Uh, uh, of, of the people handing out sandwiches and singing, yeah. and talking to the nuns, talking to the yeah. soldiers. We were there on the streets. And mm-hmm. I was like, 10, 10 years old ako noon, 11. Mm-hmm. So, may, may, may ano na ako noon, may wish na ako noon. Yes. Na ako, may consciousness na ako noon. <laughs> Woke okay, ininam ka na noon. Woke okay, ininam na ako noon. So, oh. I, I know. I know how it is to lose stuff. I know how it is to be poor. I know how it is to suffer. Okay, mm-hmm. My family suffered. Pero I didn't sell my morals. I didn't. Yeah. My family did not sell our morals because that was the only thing that we had. Na hindi pwedeng kunin ng maski ano. Ang dignidad, hindi mo pwedeng ibenta yan. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. So I'm so, saying it again. Uh-huh. Oh, you said it. Kore, ko. Grabe ang bigat niyan, Ian. Kailangan ko munang makahinga. So let's take a quick break. And Bora. I'll be back soon with you, yeah? See you in a bit. Hello, everybody. Kumusta? Kaya pa ba natin? Medyo marami tayong mga dinidiscuss ngayon. And I'm sure a lot of you also, you have your own opinions. You have your own preconceived notions probably sa mga nangyayari. Uh, sana, uh, whatever man yan, uh, if you support, uh, sige, I respect that. Pero sana mag-iba naman ang inyong mga opinion somehow. And um, if you have very strong opinions also against whatever is happening, um, I hope we can all find a way to, you know, express this, uh, ipaalam sa iba pang mga tao. But anyway, um, let me just uh, remind you, of course, that we are supporting Hashtag Podcast United. Podcast United is a series of live streams featuring local podcasts like this, Rated I, and we're raising funds for COVID-19 frontliners via Frontline Feeders Philippines. The most transparent fundraising effort that I've seen so far. Lahat po yan linalagay nila sa kanilang Facebook page, Frontline Feeders Philippines. This is in partnership, of course, with Podcast Network Asia and Paymaya. You can donate via web by going to donate.paymaya.com, find hashtag Podcast United, select the amount you wish to donate. You can donate a minimum of 50 pesos up to 10,000 pesos, add to cart, and click checkout. You can pay via credit or debit card or kung meron kayo, Paymaya Wallet. If you have your Paymaya app, maganda! Just launch the app and click Pay Bills. 
choose Podcast Network Asia as your partner organization. Put five zeros, limang zero, one, two, three, four, five, zero, 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 zero. Hindi ko na kailangan ulitin. Limang zero. Ilang zero? Lima. Put that in the account number and then enter the amount you're willing to donate. And then tap continue. There is no minimum amount of donation through the app. So even the smallest barya, I'm sure malayo ang mararating niyan. Very thankful po tayo, of course, to our network, Podcast Network Asia, of course, for really spearheading the Podcast United program. Now, we are back, of course, with our guest, Ms. Ian Galigas. Kumusta? Ay, mag-donate kayo. <laughs> yeah, donate kayo, Podcast United. Mapupunta yan sa ating mga frontliners na napaka-bongga ng service na ginagawa sa atin at this time. Now, okay. Ian, malapit yes. na tayo isang oras. Who would have thought, di ba? Yeah, ano namang mga ano, ano namang mga dapat naming abangan about you now that you're saying na, hmm, baka matagal-tagal pa to, we'll see what happens in the next three months. Ano mga dapat nating abangan? You said you had a show. You you will be having a show. We'll be having a show. And, and uh, well, because the franchise, by the way, magkaiba po ang franchise at ang channel. Ano? Magkaiba po yan. Yeah. For more details, you can look at my Twitter account. Follow me there. May mga pinos na po ako doon at yeah. Ian Del- so, makita niyo po doon. I try to explain as much as I can in a humorous way when I can. Yeah. Kung yung mga depresya. Um, hopefully now that, uh, well, habang wala pang nanggaganap, um, I Want TV is still uh, is still on and that's where you have all of these online shows where you have yeah. movies and series, Manilenials with my very good friend, Ria Ataide. Panoorin yeah. niyo ang, ang galing-galing ng Manilenials. Ang ganda. Sobra. Yeah. As in, and it's one of those one of those shows na na pagkisipan talaga ang ganda ang ganda ng pagkakagawa. Um, I want it, bongga yon. I want TV. I'm hoping na uh, the lihim niligaya with Ivana Alawi will continue, and I hope that we'll find a different uh, medium or different channel. Sana nasa I want siya. Pero ngayon everything is up in the air. What right. what can you expect from me? Um, I'm I'm gonna be active online. That's pretty much it, Perfect. and I'm still going to work on after everything is done. This quarantine thing, after all of it, I I'm still going to work on elevating Filipina comedians. Naman, we get at this an opportunity. Whether it'll be online, we'll find different channels, we'll find different frequencies or mediums yeah. on how to do it. But we can have an opportunity. Hindi naman, hindi pa naman katapusan ng mundo eh. Wala pa namang asteroid na dumadating na. <laughs> Uy, yeah. pero wag naman. Baka mamaya na kung wood. Baka mamaya eh. Wag naman. No? Wag naman. Right. So, hopefully, I'm really, really hoping that, mm-hmm. sabi nga nila, di ba, um, before you can see the light, there has to be total darkness. For you to, and, and for you to change and to grow into something better, you have to break. Right. Yeah. Kailangan may mabreak muna tayo. And I think this is that time na we're breaking everything down. We're changing everything. We're, we're finally getting rid of things that are not essential, that are not really needed. Not just for the country, but for us. Mag-i-entrance. Tayo. Mm-hmm. And then it'll be better. Yeah. Tough times Ian, make the best people. You're right. Ian, if there are three things that you wish people to remember you by. You're very interesting. I learn a lot from you every time we talk. Kung meron mong tatlong bagay na talagang gusto mo maaalala ng tao sa'yo, ano yun at bakit? Oh my God. Alam mo, that's a very hard question. Kasi people will always have a different version of yourself in their heads. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sa yeah, yeah. bawat tao, iba-ibang ber- version. But yeah. I hope I hope that they remember me as someone who is logical, mm-hmm. may, may, may sense, gano'n. Yeah, yeah. Who's kind. Yes. Who's kind, but who also bites. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Strong. Strong. Fierce, gano'n. Pero... Strong. Yeah. And I'm going to attest to that because we know each other, I think, more than a year na rin, ano? And the uh, moments that I really shared with you na nag-uusap talaga tayo, sabi ko nga, I always learned something from you. Be it na it, an ugali um, or, or a philosophy, an opinion that I formed because of talking to you. These are things that I think people people will remember you by also. You're kind. 
sobrang mabait ka. You're like uh, a sister to me talaga. A-advisean mo ko. Pero fierce ka rin. Sasabihin mo sa akin, alam mo, hindi maganda yung ginagawa mo. Alam mo, ganito yan. Blah, 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 blah. You're like that. And that's one thing that I really like about you. So, thank you. Thank Now, you. <laughs> are you ready for, for my favorite part of every episode? Are you ready for Fast Talk? Yeah. Thank you, Dick. <laughs> yeah, let's do fast talk. Bye. All right. Ian, beach or hiking? Hiking. Pants or skirt? Skirt. Heels or sneakers? Sneakers. Moreno or chinito? Both. Soy. Esti so. Bet mo na esti so bet mo. Actually, wala naman ako ano eh. Kahit ano, basta tao. Oh, ay pa ako. Oh, oh. Ganyan tayo, love is love. Celebrity or hindi? Hindi. Love or money? Love. Love or world peace? World peace. World peace or peace of mind? World peace. Hmm. Malaki maliit. Na ano? <laughs> ano nga? <laughs> ano? <laughs> Oh, ano ba ito? ba? Kama? Baso? Ala? Ito na lang. Lights on or lights off? Either. Oh, Sex or chocolate? Sex or chocolate? Sex? Ah, pa. Wala. Walang walang pag-aalilangan. Yun naman talaga. Ian, maraming maraming salamat. Paano ka mahahanap na ating listeners and viewers? What are your social media channels? Where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at Ian Galigas and you didn't handle ko at Ian Galigas on Instagram. G-A-L-L-I-G-U-E-Z. Opo, pinsan ko po yung basketballista na Galigas. Pero hindi niya ako kilala. So, pero magpinsan ka. <laughs> at totoo po na wala po talaga siyang Facebook. Oo, wala po talaga akong Facebook. Pasensya na po. So, yung mga makikita niyo pong Ian Galigas sa Facebook, fake accounts po yan. Pag po tayo maniwala sa fake Oo. Tsaka malalaman nyo po pag fake yon kasi pag in-English nyo po, kailangan ang English niya bonggang-bongga. <laughs> Totoo yan. Nakita nyo naman. Maraming maraming salamat, Ian, and thank you for joining Rated Eye. Hanggang sa muli. Pero bago ka, bago ka, mag- bago ka mag-goodbye sa akin, meron tayong spiel na ginagawa ng lahat ng nagiging guest sa Rated Eye. Okay. Ito. My name is Blank and I am rated I. Or maybe you can do this is blank your name and I am rated I. Are you ready? I am ready. Ready. One, two, three. My name is Ian Galigas and I am rated I. Bongga! Salamat, Ian. Thank you, Ian. Bye. Bye.